So let me go search up Icip Can't, because when I do that, you get a lot of uh, Icip Can't Beat This Challenge, and most of them are actually pretty easy. But I think I saw one that was uh, actually difficult that I want to do. This one. Icip Can't Beat This Without Cheats. Well, let me show you how to beat this without cheats. The uh, win rate's pretty low. In fact, only one person beat it so far. By the way, when they say two people have won, but the recent and first winner are the same, Generally, it means the other person's a hacker. So, yeah. So, it's round 75, and the modifiers are very high. Cooldown rate's really high, so... Likely, and no abilities can be used. Actually, there's no abilities even, even unlocked. Either way. Oh, yeah, also a tier max of 23, so... Let's keep that in mind. I think, first off, you see that the Moabs are... Super fast. So... We have a Mob Shove. We also have a Big Trap to insta-kill them. But that only gets the, uh, blimps, not the camos. I don't think there's any decamo in this challenge, so... We actually have to, have to pop the camo leads instead of decamoing them. Uh, let me just see right now, though. Can we actually eat up every single Moab? Oof, that one just missed. Alright. Oh yeah, don't forget, the rear rate is really high, so... Uh, we have to one-shot these leads, too. Let me just first see what I have for lead, the lead camo. I have AMD, so I can give lead popping to other towers. I have Sniper, I have Razor Rotors, uh, I have Boats, Cap. Let me, let me just first see how to deal with the Moabs. I feel like if we can get away with uh, using the Trap to beat every Mob Class Bloon, that would be nice. Well, we could do this too. Mob Shove. But the thing is, I only have 10 tiers now for the, uh, the Light Bloons, and I kind of have to pop them. So I feel like uh, it, I shouldn't be allowed to go for this. So yeah, let me try it without the Shove. Can you target the trap? Yes, but only with the middle cross path, which you don't want, because this one drops it way faster. So, uh, we kind of have to try to get away with this. Oh, also, I just realized, there's fortified leads and normal leads. Oh, nice. Also, I thought we found the god trap spot. That one sucked in the mob as it was going by. And now, three BFBs left, please. Drop. One more. Oh, come on. Unlucky, unlucky. Either way, that's really close to working. So now we have to use another tower to uh, beat the leads, I guess, while we're uh, sucking in all the Moabs. So first things first. This one-shots leads, does it not? Let me put it on last, just to uh, target the camos. Yeah, it does one-shot. So that means, uh, because this thing is full rear right, you have to one-shot it. That's why, again, this kind of works. Now, I also think uh, you're supposed to use... Oh, hold on. Okay, we're going to Ruger Farm because uh, this thing can't one-shot fortified leads. But, uh, I was I was uh, saying, I think if you put count priority, this new feature makes it so that it doesn't matter what you target, it will always target a camo first instead of BFB, which would help us since, you know, sometimes on first it will target a BFB, on last it might target a mob as well. But we got to find a way to uh, deal with the fortified leads after. So what I mean is like, this on first, I think we should sell it after the last light pops, before the fortified light, so that we have uh, not a Riga farm. So, 3, 2, 1, you see? First is targeting the light only, and we still couldn't find the god spot, sadly. But that's a gist. If we pop that, we sell it, and then we do something to the leads afterwards. You gotta put the trap high enough that it barely clips the Moab. That's the god spot we're looking at. And also clips the Moab, uh, leaking on the bottom. That's too high. I could be wrong. I'd love to be uh, wrong about this. Please be wrong about this. Oh, no, I'm not wrong. Okay, cool. So, oh, crap. I didn't sell early enough because I was confused or I was paying attention to the, the big trap. So, uh, let me just see what I could do here. I think if I saw there, during the run here, um, it popped to a red. So, I actually only have to do one damage to them. Wait, that's easy. I could probably go overboard too, because I think Flats have like, what, 5 HP, 4 HP? So, I could I could drop like a quick Razor Rotors, because that pops leads, right? Uh, like this. Okay, I did way too much damage though. <laughs> That's too much. By the way, I don't think the answer is uh, pop the uh, Fortified Lead into uh, the Normal Lead. You saw I regrew it back to Normal Lead, but that won't work, because there's four times that amount. And there's no way a Sniper or 210 can keep up with all those leads, so I feel like... It has to still one-shot, we just can't... We just gotta find a way to do one damage to all of them without doing uh, four damage to one of them. 
if that makes sense. Oh wait, you guys know what I'm thinking of? This could actually work. They buffed the Mulp Shove so that it has a mini explosion sound. I think it's one damage. If I'm wrong, then I'll find out. But this shoots slowly. And also, this thing shoves the BFB backwards, right? So I could have it fall into the trap. If that makes sense. But that sounds uh, easier said than done. Alright. Okay, okay, it works this time. Let me sell it. I got it earlier this time. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, let me just get my shove early, okay? Let's not buy camo on it, okay? No camo. Because that means the missile will, you know, do damage. You don't want that. So there we go, pause. I think it's too late. There's just not enough time. Uh, I can buy this now. You see that? One damage. We'll buy the sniper. One to your left. Wait, did that not work? Let me just try it. Let me just see again. I thought the missile landed on it. Okay, it did, it did work. It might have missed the first lead. But yeah, like how? How does one missile get all those leads? I don't think I can. Feasibly. I gotta get good at shove micro. Okay, so let me pause again. Oh, perhaps why don't I just uh, buy the camel early? So like instead of focusing on shoving the BFBs, I just buy it early and focus on popping the leads. And then I should slow the BFBs enough that the uh, uh, balloons can go into trap. I just need a little bit of trap uh, or shove influence. What I mean? Immediately. So explosion. Come on. And then here. All right. One more. Okay, sell. And at this point, I, I kind of have to pray that I popped all of them or damaged all of them. So, let's check. Did we do it correctly? Yay or nay? Oh, I missed one. That might be a GG for anybody wondering. I think I gotta be perfect. I would have been really close if I, even if I uh, was perfect there. I think I just gotta do everything faster. All right, looking good, folks. So sell instantly. Here's what I'll do this time, actually. I feel like when I bought the shove, the missile exploded immediately, and the cooldown's so long. What I could do is buy O22 first. That won't do any damage to Campbellites, and then buy O23 while we're on top of the first clump, if you know what I mean. So... Uh... On the curve? Alright, one. I need four explosions here. Two. Three. And one more. It's far too slow still. But YOLO. I probably still lose to the uh, BFB here. Yep. Let me just see if it will work though. Nah, I gotta be faster. Alright, this run's pretty, pretty cracked. Let me go and buy the heli early, okay? Uh, now. One explosion? I need four. Four. Two. Uh, three. And one more, one more, one more. Alright, awesome. Two, one, zero, and fast forward. Should be enough. Enough time, that is. Just make sure we pop everything at once. And... Nice. Easy. Well, as you guys saw, I did not use any cheats to beat this, so, uh... Take that creator. Again, overall, it's a good challenge. Minus the precise trap placement. Otherwise, I, I liked uh, the feature using the count priority and the, uh, the mob shop missile. If that was intended, that is, which seems like it, given that we were one too short. Let's do Ampy's challenge here. So, time charges, win rate is very, very, very low. It's a two-rounder with, uh, I think, a uh, showcase. Um, two towers, you cannot sell. And the ability rate is uh, faster. Rigor rate, also very high. So, that means I cannot beat round 42 Rigor Rainbows, I don't think. Oh yes, also the title is kind of a, um, a hint. Time charges. I'm pretty sure what that means is I've seen this uh, trick before in that you see that there's a road spike up here, but the, the road spikes don't spawn for the other uh, the other entrances until you remove this thing. That's what they mean by time charges. So watch this. Did you see a blue balloon spawn and a pink balloon? That's because road spikes. Same thing here. You don't see the road spike, but they are there. Actually, let me just research and show you. If I clear this... There are road spikes. So it's basically... I, I'm, I'm assuming the challenge is basically you have to spawn those at the precise moment. We'll figure out how to get there first off. Let me just test real quick, okay? Fan club? Do we get full uptime with the fan club ability? Uh, we do, but it's uh, only one side. So that obviously doesn't work. I was also thinking of Maelstrom. 
that doesn't have full uptime, but we can do two Maelstroms. And that will be full uptime, I think. Well, we'll know if we don't leak any lives here, so let me just go ahead and use the ability. Stagger one at a time. Well, as you see so far, we have not lost any lives, so I think this is it. At least for this round. Come on. Oh, I, I lost a six life somehow. I should probably be a little more careful next time, but either way. I think the problem lies in another rigor rate for these 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 loons here, so. I can't damage them. Let me just restart. So how many lives do I have to work with? Okay. So 465. Alright, so using this resource, um, I can see on round 42. There is 517 RBE. So I will lose that many lives if I tank the entirety 42. And because we can spot three road spikes, this top one dies immediately, by the way. So you do 517 minus 63, and that equals uh, enough lives to win the challenge. I assume we do it for the camo rainbows, because you can't obviously pop the, the other rainbows. Because there's no tower here that is a D camo, or D regrow. This one doesn't work. I actually think what you have to do is you gotta put maelstroms outside of range, like this. So it doesn't attack with 42, you know what I mean? We should also turn auto start off, which it is, so that the maelstrom doesn't stay for next round. I don't know if it's precise to like, like one life. You can't leak a single life this round, but we'll see how far we get, anyways. Just again, hopefully the timing is on part, on point. Okay, so I actually did not lose a single life that round. That's pretty good. Now let's just play the round. Oh wait. Oh, I didn't even realize. Even if auto starts off, uh, it still goes off. Wait, what if I go back? If I press home and press continue, does it still uh, do that? Let's see. Okay, nice. It doesn't stay. That's pretty cool. Cheesing the uh, challenge that way. Maybe that's intended though, but yeah. How do I time using road spikes? I gotta wait for all the rainbows to leak. So, now? 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 I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, if I'm looking at it, I think the the rainbow left last on the left side. So it might be oh, down, right, and then left. If that makes sense. Alright, so let's screen the rainbows first off with this run. There's six rainbows. So one, two, three, four, five, and then wait for seven. Okay. I think the second last rainbow goes left to right. So this one, yeah, that was right. That was right. You remove this one first. Now... Now? Wait, I'm out of money. Wait, how come I didn't get enough money this time? what I do? Go back. Alright guys, I just had an epiphany. I think I know what, how to save money. So, there's this knowledge that makes either your tower shoot faster or cheaper. So, if I stop at tier 3, I think. This is 2180. Wait, let me just see how much this one is. 2180. Yeah, I have more money this time. 1657. I don't know what I did last time. But I think I bought two blades or something and then upgrade with the mail scrum. Either way. Yeah, so if you only have tier threes or fours on the field, it is uh, cheaper. But yeah, if you buy two zero 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 tax, let me just restart the show. See, I did this. This is $100 more expensive because th this is a tier zero. And you have to only have tier threes or fours of primaries. That's how the monkey knowledge works. So, add a boy. And now let's get back to 42. So, again, is it bottom right left? I just feel like there's like not enough time. Now? Now? Now. Let's see 79? 69? 55? 43? That's it. That's one. Alright. There it is, guys. Nice showcase of a challenge. Now we are part of the uh, 4%. Well, probably higher than 5% uh, now, now that I've beaten it and have shown the solution publicly. But either way, yeah. Still a uh, interesting challenge. Nice, nice, nice.